Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new here and today I have a Gordman's haul for y'all. Everything that I got was between 60 to 80 percent off so I got a lot of deals. I actually did all the math on it and I'll have to pick up my notebook just to even tell you exactly because I can't remember all that in my head. So with everything that I purchased the merchandise total before any discount was $740.12. So what I actually paid for all this was $203.78. But anyway, I got a lot of stuff, so let's go on and get into it. So the whole reason that I went into Gordman's was to get a new blanket for our bed. I realized that we were overheating a lot in the night, so I wanted to get something really light. I wanted a white one. I could not find one, so I got this baby pink one. And my husband Waylon is probably going to be like, more pink. I'm going to have to say yes. More pink. I wanted to get white. Didn't have it. And this was an absolute steal. I don't know why the sticker is on there upside down. But this was originally $30, $29.99. And I think I paid something around the lines of $4 for this. Because it wasn't just the discount. You also got... 30% off of your total purchase. So everything that I got was super cheap. I barely paid, I barely paid, let's see. I think the most I paid for one specific item was $14 and that was a jacket. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Okay, so the next things that I got are two dish towels. I thought these were super, super cute. And I go through dish towels like water. They get so yucky. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, is that, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this while I was in the store, but this one has black stripes and this one has navy blue stripes. I didn't even, I thought they were identical. Well, that doesn't really bother me at all. I think these were really cute and I just thought they would go with, you know, just about any kitchen decor and they feel like they're very thick. They're very good quality. And again, they were dirt cheap. These were originally $6.99 each and I know I got this for a dollar and some change. It wasn't hardly anything off my back. For the longest time, I have been on the lookout for a lunchbox that is big enough to accommodate what I actually take to work. I work 12 hour shifts, so when I'm packing my meals for the day, I'm packing a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. So most lunch boxes that I have found that don't look weird aren't big enough. And I've been on the lookout for a really long time. So I found this one and I thought it was so cute. I feel like it just looks so, so grown up. And I don't know, like, uh, <clears throat> I feel like it looks classy and elegant for what it is. I mean, it is a lunchbox, but to me, it doesn't look like a lunchbox. It just looks like a nice bag. And I don't know, I just, like this one. I thought this was super cute. This was also super cheap. I don't remember. Let's see. Okay, this was originally $30 and I don't think I paid more than $4 for it. So this was an absolute steal. I can also pack our lunches in this when we go to the pool because we go to the pool a lot around here because it is hot as sin outside. So that will be great to pack lunches in and such. So I really like that. Next up, I got some shoes for my daughter, Lena. She is growing like a weed, y'all. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with her. But I got her this pair of tennis shoes. These were originally $14.99. And I think I got these for $2 and some cents. I can't remember, but she'll be starting school very soon. So I knew that she was gonna need some tennis shoes. So I got her this pair. And then also this pretty pair in pink. Anyway, I thought these were super cute. I absolutely love them. And they have these interesting little ties here. I don't know why this looks so different. I thought, oh. Mm. So when I bought these, I thought this was like elastic. And it's not. But that's okay. They are still super cute. And I know that she's going to love them. And then Lena's sandals have just kicked the bucket like the velcro that was on the side completely came off of the shoe and holly tried to um 
hot glue back on and that worked for a little while but they're they're done they barely fit anymore so I got her these new sandals and I thought these were super cute with their little rainbow jewels I just love these but they were so cute and then I also got her like a croc style a croc style type of shoe so then that way when we go to the pool she'll have something really easy to slip on and off and these let's see this was originally $12.99 and again I don't think I paid more than two or three bucks for these so super cheap <clears throat> that's empty okay now moving on to the clothes these were a little tricky um just because I couldn't go in a fitting room that's not allowed now and I understand why I'm not complaining it was just difficult to try to get so what was gonna fit um just by kind of like holding it against my body I am much wider in places that normally people are smaller <laughs> my body's kind of like opposite like like I'm thinner where you would expect there to be bigger and I'm bigger where you would expect there to be thinner I'm just unique that way so this was a little difficult um but most of what I got wound up being being right so we can go ahead and get into it Lena just brought me her Pluto <laughs> I love that kid actually first thing that I got from Gordman's as clothing wise anyway it's actually this blouse I got this because if you know me in person you know that I'm obsessed with anything florals and this definitely caught my eye I thought these colors were so pretty and so this is the first one the second thing that I got was this blouse and this is from the, the brand Zach and Rachel women I got it in a 3x this is a very um I think you do you call this chiffon I don't know what kind of material this is but it's it has no stretch in it and it is it is somewhat transparent I don't know if you can see that but it is somewhat transparent and it is very flowy I love this double flutter sleeve with like this little accent here I just think that's so pretty and the color just screamed to me like I saw this and I was like oh my gosh that is a color right there so I went ahead and picked this up and I think this was originally let's see $30 and I know I paid two dollars and some odd cents for this blouse so I thought this was absolutely adorable and I just love it I cannot wait for the opportunity to wear it I'm so excited <clears throat> okay this is one of the favorite things that I got mostly because I've never owned anything Columbia ever um it's it's always been one of those brands that was really expensive and I just couldn't in my head make reason out of paying $50 or $70 for a, a rain jacket like that just didn't seem didn't seem smart to me but this jacket let's see I still have the tag because I've been wearing this thing so this jacket was originally $75 it was marked down to $49.98 and then from there I think it was 60% off from that and then 30% off of your total purchase so I wound up paying about $14 for this and in comparison to the original markup which was $75 I was so so proud of this like I can't even and I'm excited about it because I didn't know but it actually has oh my gosh, you can actually roll up the hood and like put it I don't know if you guys can see ah there it is and put it in this little like hidey hole thing and you can hide it so if you don't need and obviously you fold it and make it look a lot nicer than I just did but you can like hide it and that way if you don't want your hood you don't have to have your hood and you just have the collar see so that that is ingenuity when it comes to design I really like that that might have been something that they've done for years but like I said this is my first jacket I've never bought one so I'm new here next thing that I got was this pair of shorts here and I have to say when I got home and put these on these were a bust I was really hoping to like these though guys I loved the color I thought it would just it would just pop with like a white tank top I just thought this would look amazing with a stark white shirt but when I put them on I look like a heffalump it just doesn't flatter me in any way I am thick all through the middle and anything that I can do to draw in that way so I'm gonna do it this did not do it at all it I 
got some jam jams. I love pajamas. I have a little bit of an, an obsession with pajamas. But these, they again, super, super cheap. But I thought this is so cute. Like, look at the little avocado and he's sleeping. I thought it was so cute. And then also, it's like lace in the back. So this is perfect for summer when you need that airflow. And again, I mentioned earlier on in this video that Waylon and I have been overheating at night. So I think this will definitely help with that. And then it also has lace going down the sides of the shorts. I thought that was super cute. I just love these. I think they're so cute. We have another bust. When I saw this, it screamed to me because I love any and all shade of pink. And it's super soft, and I know it's summer outside, but I get cold, and, you know, winter's a common friends. So, I really thought that I would love this. But, when I put it on, it looks a lot better on the rack than it does on me. Um, and part of that is this. If anyone knows what the heck I'm actually supposed to do with this, please tell me. Please comment down below because I, I don't know what to do with it. And I saw this when I purchased it, but in my head I was like, oh, you just tied in a little bow and it'd be cute. No. When I tried this on, there was no way I was getting this thing into a bow. And it... Well, now wait a minute. Maybe it's supposed to... Guys. Guys! Okay. Oh my god! I've got, okay. Sometimes you have to look at things from a different angle and obviously with it not being on my wrist I was able to do that. Okay, so it has these little bows that you can tie at the end and now it looks a lot cuter and I might actually wear this but when I was looking at the other one I was like what the heck is this? Like what am I supposed to do with this butt on camera? Oh my gosh I'm feeling so silly. Um, Apparently, I guess this is what you're supposed to do. Oh, gosh, I hope that's what you're supposed to do. Because I still don't know. But this looks a whole lot better than just having two random tassels at the end of your sleeve. So, anyway, I guess I will be wearing that now since it won't look completely ridiculous. I saw this blouse and what I pictured or what I saw in my head was fall pictures. Like putting Waylon in like a deep olive green to pull out his blue eyes because Waylon's eyes will change with whatever he's wearing. If he's wearing something that's more green toned, his eyes will pull green. If he is wearing like a teal or a blue, they will pull blue. So I could put him in like a deep, like a, like a taupe toned olive green. Oh, and it would pull them eyes. Gorgeous. So I thought I'd put him in this green and then I could put Lena in like this warm um senna color right here sienna senna tell me down below tell me i don't know one of the two um in that color right there and this with like the yellow and like all those colors will just kind of like pull it in maybe put lena in like some cream tights that'd be some gorgeous pictures right there so i bought this with the intention of doing fall pictures and it has like kind of the same detailing that that red shirt had earlier like this little open stitch kind of thing. I just thought it was so pretty. And this, this was originally $34 and I think I paid $4 and some cents for it. I normally don't talk this much. Well, that's not true. I normally don't talk this much when I'm home with just my kid. That's probably not true either. I talk a lot. I also got this pair of pants, or this pair of shorts here. And when I tried them on, I got a little disappointed because the legs for me are longer than I had expected them to be. I'm only five foot four, so sometimes when things are cut for a larger body shape, like I have, especially when you're going into um, <clears throat> plus sizes, which this is, sometimes they can be cut for an elongated body as well. And I wasn't blessed with that. As a shorty, I'm reminded daily. My husband's six foot and some change, so as always, look it up. It kind of reminds me of something that um, Ellie from Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic Park, 
would wear. Like she wore those like, I guess that was like the 80s and 90s style shorts where it's like cuffed on the bottom and like kind of like mom shorts I guess where like they come up really high on your waist and this kind of gave me those vibes and I really wanted them to work but when I put them on they were just too long and they looked disproportionate like the, the potentials there but they just look disproportionate so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this to a tailor and I'm just gonna have them <clears throat> like cuff the short on the end about like huh, about like this I feel like that would be and after that extra fabric is cuffed it'll give it a little bit more security at the hem so it won't fall so smoothly it'll have a little bit more shape to it and then also it'll look a little bit more proportionate to my body type because it makes my legs look really really short my legs are already short I need to do the opposite okay so moving on to the final items that I have here I got Lena a pack of socks <laughs> and what I had done is I set these in the um, laundry hamper that sits on top of our washing machine with the intention of undoing the package and washing them that's not what happened <laughs> somehow this entire pack of socks got dumped into the washing machine and they were turned into the dryer and no one was any wiser until it was all done so that's what happened to this that's why you can see <laughs> all of that yes <clears throat> what is it sugar Um, Thelman, what are you doing? What you doing with Daddy's little table? Oh, I just have some stuff sitting on it, so then that way I can show I my friends. Pluto, huh? Oh, you want Pluto back? Pluto. There you go. Yeah, he You're welcome. Boy. Be careful. So anyway, that's what happened with this. But there's still, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the socks. They're fine, but I just wanted to explain why the wrapper looks so janky. Next, I got this concealer and hot no, 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 I'm sorry. Cream highlight and contour palette from NYX. And I actually think that this is too deep for my skin tone, but it cost me a dollar and some change. And I I have never had a contour palette before. So I just kind of wanted to give it a try, see what all the rage is about. And I actually got another contouring and highlighting product as well. But this is that and this I think still is a little too dark for my skin tone but I'm wearing it today y'all let me know do I look like I have a beard because that's how I felt when I was putting this stuff on but after I blended everything out I didn't think that it looked that bad especially for my first time I've never contoured anything a day in my life today was my first day how does my face look if it's bad just don't tell me <laughs> I don't want to know. And then I also got this conceal and contour brow pencil. So what you're supposed to use this for is like highlighting your brow and then like concealing your brows as well to make them more defined. So I also used that today <laughs> and so far I'm a fan. It doesn't blend as well as I had hoped that it would, but it blended. I'm not going to say it didn't. So there is that this Mr. Right Long Lasting Eyeliner Pencil. And this is in the nude shade. I've never used this before until now. I have it on my lower lash line. And when you wear a nude on the bottom lash line, apparently it's supposed to make your eyes bigger. So that's kind of what I was going for. And I didn't know that when I bought this. When I bought it, I was just kind of like, hmm, I wonder what you do with that. And you know, after some research, <laughs> I realized you put dark on the bottom lash, it's gonna make your eye thinner and squish it in you put nude or white on the bottom lash line and it's gonna open things up for you I also got this brow pal from the balm cosmetics I've never owned anything by this brand and I'll tell you why I purchased it the branding like and the packaging that's what got me to purchase this I just think this is so cute like having the little cartoon on the front and then also how it like pops up here and you have like a little mirror you can probably see yourself in there hi um i thought this was so stinking cute and i just had to get it and actually this color 
isn't even the color that I probably should use in my brows. This is the blonde. Where did it say that? I missed that somewhere. Ah, blonde. Lastly for makeup, I got this Balm Desert Bronzer and Blush, also from the Balm Cosmetics. And again, the packaging. The packaging just won me over a million times. And I actually, oh, holy cow. Okay, this was originally $21. I did not pay that. I probably paid two or three dollars for this. Maybe. But it's kind of like the same idea as the other one. You just open it up and you have like your little bronzer there and your little mirror. And I just think the illustrations on these are just precious. I just love these so much. Like I I really did just buy this for the packaging, but they're they're nice products. I like them. Okay, guys, so moving on to the last three things that I'm going to share. These were jewelry items, and the jewelry was not discounted as much as the remainder of my haul. I think it was 40% off fine jewelry, and then you got an extra 30% off of your total purchase. So still a great deal, but not as harshly discounted. So the first thing that I got, Holly, stop watching. Go somewhere else. I got this for my sister Holly. I thought that she would really enjoy this. I also love the design where there's like a word or like a name in cursive and then it has like the chain attached to the side so then that way you don't have like a pendant in the front that you're constantly trying to like move back and forth and like put the clip in the back and I just thought this was super cute and I thought that she would enjoy this so I got this for her for Christmas. Oh and I didn't tell you um this was originally $60 and I think I paid $15 for this. The next thing that I got was this little pendant necklace. And no, this is not a diamond, but it is very sparkly and it is very, very pretty. It is definitely my style. Anyone who knows me knows I love glitter. So this was originally $125 and I got this for $50, I believe. I finally got myself a nice pair of earrings. Long story short, I had a very nice pair of earrings they were rose gold with like a purple rainbow sort of jewel in the center I don't even know what the jewel was I can't even remember to tell you the Lord's honest truth but I lost one and ever since I lost that one I have not had a nice pair of earrings I have a lot of jewelry I have a lot of nice jewelry but I don't have a whole lot of nice earrings so I picked these up because I thought that they looked very high-end for what they are. <clears throat> Do you guys hear Lena singing? <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. But anyway, I thought that these looked very high-end for what they are. And these were originally $50 and I got these for $10. So I thought that was quite the deal. There are some other items that I'm not going to share um, just because I don't want to say this too loudly. They're Christmas presents for Lena. If for those of y'all who have seen my cleaning videos, you may or may not have noticed that I don't have a door in my bedroom, like a bedroom door. So I have to be very careful what I say and what I bring in here because I don't want to spoil anything for her and I know I just know if I take those out and I even try to show you what I got she's gonna come running in here and be like oh my gosh what's that and I'm gonna be like Duh! so I don't want to risk that but for the most part Christmas is done for that little girl so yay for Christmas in July Thank you guys for spending so much time with me. I really appreciate y'all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul as much as I enjoyed shopping and also making this video. I, I really did enjoy this. This was a lot of fun. I'm kind of surprised. I've never done this before, so I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. But I really did enjoy myself. I hope that you guys enjoyed as well. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below. Like if you enjoy what you see. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <clears throat> the <laughs> oh, heaven.